Hi everyone, this is 31 Pockets and I'd like to welcome everyone to my D610 keypad repair video. So let's get started. Now here's our Dell D610 and one day I was noticing using it, it was starting to overheat a little bit more often than it normally does. It kind of runs hot. Now this um, I noticed on the bottom, and I'll try and turn this in the light, but it does have a large dust buildup. And I started to take it apart one day. And when I did, now this computer is pretty old. And when I did, the, um, the ribbon that connects to the keypad fell out of the actual um, receptacle or the actual plug to be more specific and I was not able to get it back in. Some of the tools we're going to need for this job are a small fine Phillips head screwdriver with a smaller medium size one and then we're also going to be using a standard small and possibly using a pick a small um, very fine um, standard screwdriver here and I don't really need the tweezers but I might so I just have them around just in case. Now before we get started with this project we always want to make sure we remove the battery first on the bottom which is very simple we just flick this lever in and we're going to lift it up and slide it out and that's pretty much it. Now we're ready to work on it. The thing is we're going to take off our cover bezel piece and we're going to take our small standard screwdriver and there's a little notch in the corner where my fingers pointing and we're going to slip it down underneath there and carefully pry that up. Now we have to be careful with this because we can bust this thing is this bezel is just made out of plastic for the on off switch and the power uh, uh, the our volume control so we're just going to lift this lightly and we want to try and do the whole thing once we get the corner up we just kind of want to have to lift the whole thing evenly all together without stressing it. Once it comes off then we lift it out and that gives us access to the screws that hold down our keypad. Now I'll give you a close close-up shot. There's one screw right there and then we have another one that's right here. We want to do this very carefully and make sure we don't drop the screws down into the circuit board or the motherboard. You want to kind of hold your finger around the screw while you're unscrewing it. Once it comes loose then you can lift it right out. There's kind of an art to it. And we'll do the other side here. And once we have the two screws out, we're just going to take lightly and lift up at this area where the screws came out and kind of pick up on the keypad a little bit. And kind of it's kind of snapped in there. And then we want to slide it up. Now this one is already damaged. This is the one where our receptacle fell off of our ribbon to connect it into the motherboard. Our next step is going to be going over uh, online how to get a new or not necessarily a new but a reconditioned keypad. So we're going to go to that next. Now anytime we're looking for a keyboard we always want to take and find out what our plug number is first. So I'm going to hold this up so you guys can see it. And this is going to be where my finger is. That is the actual plug number and we want to make sure we get a close match to that. Now in this case this one is a H4406 so when we go online on eBay we're going to go to advanced search on our account and then we're going to type in D610 in our 
advanced search and now we're going to type in keyboard. We're going to go down to categories and we're going to go to computer and networking and then click search. And then it shows us all the, the Dell keypads for the Dell 610. Now you like I mentioned in the beginning, we want to make sure we have our right number for our plug. So we have to search each one of these. And it may take some time. Now we did find the H4406. And the vendor that's on eBay right now looks like he has a good um, status and has and has really good feedback. He sold 73,000 items and his feedback is 99.8 so that's that's pretty good for selling that many items so we're gonna go ahead and make a bid on this. Uh, it's a buy it now for $9.99 and then we'll get it in and hopefully it'll be the right one and we'll get this thing operational. Now our refurbished keypad finally came in from eBay so we're gonna be careful and open this. We want to make sure we don't have any wires in the way when we cut the package. So I'm going to take and we're going to open it up. As we can see it looks pretty good. Um, There is the keypad so you guys can see it. Before we get started putting the keypad in, we're going to take it out to the garage and blast out the dust that could possibly be in our heat sink connecting to cool our video card and our CPU. As I showed you before, the dust build up on the bottom right here. So we're going to take it out right now and just give it a quick blast. And I'm just going to take and use our, basically our standard blowgun off the air compressor. And blast the dust out of here. You want to be kind of careful. Now we're going to take and plug and insert our keypad in. Now it's going to be a little tricky because I am holding the camera so you guys can see it. This is our plug here and then our receptacle is right here. So it's kind of tricky. You got to hold up on the keypad a little bit, not too high. Let me move it a little bit. And then we're going to take and drop down see it went out of alignment. You got to keep it in like a kind of a tricky alignment to get this thing to snap in. Okay, once I got it in there, now it's over the top. It's lined up pretty good. I can press down and snap it. And once we have that snapped, then we're going to take the keypad and we're going to we have tabs along the bottom edge. There's one there, there, there and there, and we're going to slide them underneath this lower bezel and let them snap in a little bit. We don't want to lift up the keypad very high. We kind of this is a little bit tricky especially with one hand. That takes care of one side and that takes care of the other side. Now we want to press down the upper part make sure that it's not stressed before we fasten it down. It's a little bit tricky putting these in. I want to just kind of jiggle it around a little bit, make sure it's not stressed anywhere before we tighten it. Okay, that takes care of the first one. Now we're going to do the second one.
that takes care of that. Now we're just going to take our bezel, fold down the screen, and then we've got these two notches right here. And we're going to make sure that right there, we're going to tuck them into the end. You want to lift up a little bit, press down, and they'll just kind of fall into place. You just want to go very carefully not to stress this when you're putting it back on. Okay, that just about does that. Now that we're put all back together on our keypad, we're going to take the computer and flip it over. And now we're going to install the battery. Now the battery has a notch right here and then it has the corresponding notches are right there. And we're going to take and slip it in and we can see by this little keeper latch right there we're just gonna now that we're lined in it'll just snap into place and connect our power and then we're gonna carefully flip it back over and give it a try I'll flip up the screen and we're gonna hit the power button and watch the screen. Once this comes up, we're going to go to Word and then we're going to test our keypad. Uh, just to give it a brief, quick test and see if it uh, is operational. Okay, it looks like it came up okay. No problems or drags. Now we're going to go down to start. And we're going to go to Word. We'll let Word come up. Okay, then. Now we're going to try our keypad. Let me zoom in a little bit here. I'll try one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. And we'll try we'll try a couple sample words with it. Or a couple sample letters, I'm sorry. Let's click A. D R Y it seems to be working okay so I guess that's just about going to do it for our installation of a refurbished keypad so I hope you guys stay tuned in for our upcoming episodes until next time this is 3-1-Pockets and thanks for watching